So we com the your computer operating system cannot understand all of this. Instead, each device has the controller. Controller is the do you remember the what I mentioned? Any device cannot be used with a program. Okay, software. So this is a device, this is a device. Each of them should have the software. Where? That is in the controller. So all devices actually connected to the computer first through the controller. For example, this has the disk controller. The I, other I/O device has their own controller. Then USB is kind of it's uh, too complicated. Why don't we make the universal? Okay, come on. The data transfer the uh, controller USB controller. As long as so every time the people that together then make the standard and standard. The USB one, USB two. What they are doing is uh, there is uh, something. The data port and the line then the define this is used for the power, this is used for the data transfer and the bandwidth. So they make the standard I two three blah 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 number. I two three blah 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 number. So so that then operating system and what if you want to build your own operating system, then they follow this the standard. That's it. Then you don't have to worry about this one. This is a Another manufacturer to follow the standard and so on, which means we need this software. This is called device program. So when I, it's a 20, 30 years ago, the, when I purchased the hard disk drive at the time, two megabyte. So it's really the two megabyte hard disk drive that I use. Also, actually, the, my first uh, personal computer was the IBM, the XT in 1983 at the time so uh, so still interesting the doubt why my dad my father purchased the, such a expensive at the time it's a really expensive it was a 2000 US dollar in 1983 which is the I think the almost the half year the salary then the, he purchased the, the bought such an expensive computer to me even I didn't ask at the time I know there's some clue, so because uh, my dad uh, works for the bank, and the one of a customer, actually, the, it's a kind of the new business, so he need my dad need to purchase because of his job. Anyway, so at the time, so second, the memory, even I need to use the floppy disk. Because memory is not big enough so to start the operating system, I need to use the secondary storage. Also, to save the any file, I save the file to where? Floppy disk? No. Even floppy disk was expensive. So I need to use tape recorder. Is there anyone who ever used, even before CD, there is a tape record like the walkie talkie, not walkie talkie, Sony Walkman? Do you know the Sony Walkman style? So it's like the iPod at the time. So it's a tape, the player, tape player with the magnetic tape. Then we can store the file, digital file, to the magnetic tape also. It's a still used for backup purpose. It's called the dot tape so for backup purpose. Then how can we store the digital file to the, such a magnetic tape? As long as we can represent. 0 or 1. CD ROM is the same thing. DVD is the same thing. Make the whole, then 1. The close, then 0. So, always, if we, as long as we can represent a 0 or 1, we can store the, any digital file in any media. So, at the time, we use the, if you play the button, it's a, the noisy sound coming out from that. So, also, uh, you, like the, before internet, we have the, uh, we use the, the telephone line for the internet connection. So at the time you can hear something, the noise sound to connect. It's the same thing, okay? As long as we can represent a zero or one, it's not like the voice, the, the frequency, but the, it, uh, the we can use it. Then at the time, so when, we have, I, when I have the two megabyte hard disk drive, it's a huge storage. Then, 
problem is when I connect the, such a, the two megabyte hard disk drive to computer, computer doesn't understand. So whenever I purchase a new device, I need to <coughs> install the program, which is a device. So always it's uh, the pack bundle with uh, your the disk drive or any device, the program I need to install. So it's the same thing nowadays. So the computer architecture is not changing. You need uh, such a device program. However, have you ever the installed the device program nowadays? No. Mostly not. One reason, internet automatically recognize. So the such a big vendor like the Microsoft or the uh, Intel and any the IT company, such a big company, they have the roadmap next to the 10, 20 years. So if you search the Google, the Microsoft already has a plan for the next decade. And the Apple is the same thing. Then they dispute. Uh, they give the such information for the manufacturer, small manufacturer who develop the, this kind of thing. Then follow there. Then the, if that is verified, the genuine, then the, there's uh, first time they actually the key. So this device as a part of operating system. Nowadays, they to make the, uh, the light version of the operating system, they have the, just the, the verify whether this is the verified uh, device. If yes, it's automatically download and install. Also, another thing is the standardization. They made the standard for the like the USB and the other the the port. So that is a, the, the controller. So using controller, then the, we can communicate to here and the CPU can access the data or the load the data into the memory and so on. The problem is. How many processes are using how many devices? So many. Okay? However, the most important part of the computer is the uh, processing, CPU. How many CPU? We have very, very less. Even though we have the, uh, the dual core and the multiple processor, like the SMP machine or the MPP machine, the SMP means the symmetric massive processor. We have the multiple processor, but logically it's considered as one. We will see briefly later the how operating system handles such a multiple processor. It's called the SMP, symmetric multiple processor nowadays. Even though we have the, such a the SMP machine, still the number of process are limited. Unfortunately, how many process can the each CPU handle? At certain time, how many process? Only one. It's only one. There's no other computer that can handle multiple. So somebody is <coughs> curious. So I'm do, I'm kind of the multitasking person. So I usually the chatting with my the boyfriend while I'm coding the this one. But even though you are using the multitasking, at certain times CPU can process only one operation, one instruction, one program. Then how can the operating system pretend running several programs, multitasking? At that time, we should be smart to use the CPU. If we have the, the, this is a timeline, especially CPU timeline, we check the CPU time. Several seconds, no, it's a millisecond level. Millisecond means milli ten to the power of minus six, right? So always I can do such a millisecond level we chop segment. Then assign this one to the process one, process two. So this is called the CPU scheduling. CPU scheduling is one of the main job of the this one. Okay. <coughs> then we will see the chapter five or six CPU scheduling. Okay, it's kind of a trick, but we may not realize because it's a very short time to too short to realize such a difference. Okay, Perfect. yeah, go back to here. So CPU is limited, but we have many process, many devices. They have the kind of conflict. Well, what is that? The competition. Then how can the operating system address? At that time, the they are using something smart way, which is called the inter. What does that mean, inter? 
So some of the speaker, if you attend the presentation, so your presenter uh, the, can the, say that you, can, you guys can interrupt any time during my the presentation, which means you raise your hand, then I have a question. Can I go to bathroom? Yes, you can. <laughs> so you can stop the operating system anytime that's called the interrupt. So whenever there is something, because the, for example, you are using mouse, so mouse, there's an the input, and CPU should know that process next thing. But CPU currently doing other job. You can interrupt. So they all device, because we have too many devices but limited resource, so operating system uses such an interrupt mechanism. Stop. Send a signal. I have something. Then operating system gives a chance to this. Then the take care of the mouse input. Then next keyboard and intro. Then process. Then the behind there are a lot of processes running. So take time. How fast? In the second level, take time, take time, take time. So should be very smart. CPU scheduling is one of the main part of the operating system for the performance issue. Then how? So based on inter. So most of the uh, modern current operating system use interface. And uh, another interesting the inter. This uh, in terms of uh, the hardware. What is the interrupt, by the way? We understand the mechanism. The so interrupt is kind of the signal between the device and the operating system to utilize the resource, limited to use the, uh, utilize the resource. In terms of hardware, what, what are they? It's the electronic signal also, okay? You can send the electronic signal from here, then record, operating system recognize. So what kind? What types of the inter? For example, this is just one example, like the one divided by zero. What's the answer? Infinity. One divided by zero. Infinity. So we can say infinity or the impossible, whatever. However, computer cannot handle this kind of thing. It's a forever. It try to divide. It's a forever. Okay? It's so your system will be messed up. So in case, for example, this is one of the examples of the interrupt signal. In case there is a such kind of a operation, then send the interrupt signal. So I cannot handle this. So you need to stop and uh, take care action. Like the, for example, the, in your programming level, you are doing similar thing. Try, catch, and exception. Exception handling. So this is one of the Exception handling. Exception handling is a kind of part of similar mechanism as the inter. In case something happen, whether the in case you need to do something like the send back. I got the input, send. I got the something. You can do the uh, such. A, you can use the interruption. So we will see the what is inter. And especially there's a software. This is hardware most of. These are the hardware type the intro. There's a software type intro, like the try, catch, and exception. So we will see the such a software type intro, which is called a, sometimes a try. It's like the track. So we make the a do the error handle, it, right? It's kind of a trap in case something happened and do something. So that's the same, exactly the same mechanism as a track. So that you use in the uh, programming level. Okay, so then the third part is that we are going to discuss about the such IO management. Among the bunch of different management issues in the IO, most important part actually, for example, in your the embedded operating system or assembly class, you already use the assembly code or device program or special the embedded uh, the program to use mouse or to use keyboard. So uh, we are not going to deal with uh, such a part. Especially, instead, we are talking about one of the major, uh, main part of the such I.O. system is your storage, the secondary storage, for example, hard disk drive, and the SSD. So how many files do you have in your computer? Yeah, it's uh, too many. If you want to know, you can run the virus, antivirus program, and check how many files are scanned. So we have mostly, the, sometimes it's uh, 
uh, 200,000 and the 300,000 number of files. So it's very hard to manage so, such a the huge number of files. So we need uh, something software to manage the, such a file that is called the file system. So what is a, we talk about the type of file system like NTFS or UFS, means file system, or NFS, and something FS, file system, a lot. Okay? Then, by the way, what is the, such a file system? It's also software, program. We need to, uh, I surprisingly, the, several years ago, uh, not several, maybe 10, 15 years ago, right now it's a part of a Oracle Corporation, the, there was a Sun Microsystem. Still there, which is the Sun OS or the uh, Sun Microsystem. When my company purchased the Sun Microsystem, then I realized that there is no file system in the operating system. Then they said, you need to buy the file system. Yes, the sometimes the file system is a software like the, your game program, game software. So you need to purchase the specific the file system. In your the second project, you are going to develop the, such a file system. Okay? It's a software, it's a program. To deal with what? File, number of files. So in your file system, like the Windows, what do you have? How do you manage the huge number of files? Folder. Okay? In the Unix or Linux, it's a directory. So directory and file management. You are going to create the directory, you are going to create the file and uh, store the file, or sometimes you can list, you can copy, you can remove the file. So we you will we will learn how what is the basic operation of the such a file system and eventually you are going to implement such a file system. This is also good exercise later for <coughs> nowadays big data system and no SQL database. For example, have you ever heard about the Hadoop? So if you already took the big data course the, the last uh, the semester or the previous, so you understand. What is a Hadoop system? It's a actually file system. Yeah. It's a distributed file system to manage what? Big data. So when we have the small size, the small size nowadays means terabyte size. You're the, you can, how, how much expensive? How, how much is the, the one terabyte size external storage nowadays? I think the 100 bucks around. So pretty much you can have the terabyte size. However, if you have the petabyte size, a thousand, the terabyte size, the file, your most of computer cannot handle. It's too big. So to address that problem, we need to specialize file system to deal with the big data system. So that is the distributed. It's a simple idea. Instead of one standalone system, this with uh, such an old file, okay? Then take care. So, Hadoop is uh, nothing but <coughs> distributed file system. Hadoop distributed file system based on this. So, if you understand the, such a uh, the file system mechanism, it's uh, much, much easier to understand HDFS. Why? Because it's running on existing file system. So, some students confused. Can I use the two? File system same time yes just like as if you are using two program MS Word Mac the plus the Excel so you can the run the same time same thing so you can run the two file system it's a software okay but this one is a specialized for the uh, big data huge amount of data but before that to for better understanding of the file system as well as the future in future. We, you are going to very simple portable file system. It's a very simple functionality. Copy and uh, and so on. Manage. So that is the I/O management. Okay. Any question? Wrapper. What is the operating system? This is the. These are the operating systems. So operating system is first. As you can see, all of these are hardware. No, it's a software. 
first software, we are going to deal with any software. However, if you have to understand the, such a background of the computer hardware, it's much the easier okay, to understand the operating system. Then, however, it's, uh, even though Professor Lee said the operating system is the software, it's different from the other application program, right? So what is the difference? It's uh, mostly interface between hardware, your computer hardware, to the end user. Okay? Somebody use. The user can be the user, human being, or other computer. It's an interface. And also, it provides Operating system also provide as it is such a device program and the interface between such a devices. Then I need to develop the application program. Like the, for example, in your project one, I need a shared program. How can you? Do you need to you need to understand the whole memory structure? And you need to understand process structure and you need you should be able to allocate the memory and copy you need to know how to copy it uh, takes a long time to complete your the first project so to simplify such a development operating system provide API what is the API application programming is programming interface, so Java API and uh, other API. So nowadays uh, the API is very, very important for the development and management and so on. Especially, this is not the specific program language the API, it's a system API. So sometimes it's called the system core, system library. For example, Windows, Windows API, okay? Linux, Core 6, API. So they each operating system provide the very basic, important, the function, okay, API. Sometimes it's 152, sometimes 200, something, depending on the operating system. So you can use such a system library to implement the develop the application. Okay? Then, for example, in this case, the, if you develop the, such a shared program, the very, the end pro, terminal program uh, to access your the operating system, first, what you need to do is always creating process. That's the only way to utilize your the computer resource, ways you need to create. How to create the process? That's uh, really, really difficult to directly uh, implement everything. You need to know the hardware, memory structure. Instead, you can use the system library. For example, book and EXEC. You heard about this one. This is the system library. Have you ever used the for can you access it? Anyone? Only for training purposes you use. Then how can you create? This is the only way to create the process. Then how can you create the process, your application program? Your programming API, your program language, use this one. Then wrap up. Then another functionality or API or automatically, for example, when you, for example, Java, have you ever created a process separately? No. Java actually reserved the memory area. Then, only one process is running, the other application of the Java is actually thread. We will discuss later, this is a lightweight, simplified version of the process. Instead of creating process, so we can simplify. So that is a thread. Then inside the Java, 
virtual machine take care of this the creating process part. So because of that, you don't know. And what is Python? Python is the same thing. When you type the Python, the code and the run execute, and Python itself actually inside the Python code it used the open exe. So because of that, nowadays if you search the job, some of the job description mentioned the system programming experience, which means the whether you are able to use such a system library in your program. Okay. Good news, it's not many, only 200, and among them, only few of them are used, the MRL, or the IPC, or the VOC and EXAC, and so on. So that is a system program. Sometimes it's called a low-level program. It's not really low-level, it's a still high-level, but so because you don't the, the use before, so this class is proportional to use this one, even the file system is the same thing. But more strict to use the this. That's the reason I'm not going to allow the Java programming for, to practice. Java hide everything, so still the, you don't know how it works. That is the reason. So, okay, so that is the uh, pretty much the overview of the computer and the operating system. Then, one more thing. Any question? In short, we will learn the easy part of the management throughout the semester. Then, one more thing is this is uh, our computer. Wow, it's a very uh, messed up. <laughs> Long time ago, when we there is when there is no internet. How do you use computer? Can you imagine the, to use a computer power or a computer system without internet or without network? No way, nowadays. But when the first computer was developed, there was no internet. Okay. Instead, when you have the computer, you can connect to the computer using dummy terminal. Dummy terminal is kind of CIT monitor. And it's connected like the wire line. There's no CPU, there's no memory, there's no the, the storage, just the input and output device. Okay, so called the dummy terminal. So if you have the many user, many dummy terminal connected. So this is a centralized the server. If you are using the disk computer for database, it's a database, centralized database server. Or the, any other computer. But it's a centralized. Then, in 1990, around the 1990, internet. The first internet is the early 1980, but it has been developed. And 1990s, before and after the around the this time, is the started to commercialize and people are using the more and more the such an internet plus. The PC power, personal computer, even though it's uh, slightly expensive, so around uh, the 3000 or 2000 level, anyway, the people can project the personal computer power and use it for something, the internet or whatever. So, due to such a thing, we don't have to use the centralized, it's a very expensive and very, it's a secure, anyway, because there's no other connection. Secure, but the, it's a what if I need, uh, this is good for the 100 user. I have the 1,000 user, no way. So we need to upgrade the system and migrate. It's really painful. So instead of the, such a the centralized server, it, by utilizing such a internet and uh, PC power, we can take out some of the job to the PC and connect using internet. Take out the job and to the PC and PC. What happened? It's a downsize, slim, make it slim. And so, for example, graphical user interface, pretty much you know, running on your computer. And some process, 
just to send the data and process in the personal computer. And the same. So this is called the downsizing. Happened around the 1990. And this is a client, client, client. This is a server. And this is called a client server computing environment. Okay, then, how many of you are watching the movie or drama from your hometown? In my case, I like to watch the Korean drama, so by downloading. Sometimes uh, there is a website free with a lot of advertisements, <laughs> so I use the torrent sometimes, the downloading and watching. Uh, it's not illegal because if you watch the such uh, data for your individual, not broadcasting, not sharing, so it's uh, the okay. So that is based on what? It's a P to P, peer to peer. So this is a server. This is a client. What if PC is getting powerful, powerful, and the network bandwidth is wider, wider? So we can use the, any computer as a server as well as client. They can send the, and receive the data. Okay? Client server works, client always a request. And server response. But in, the, in this case, this is a client server, this is client. Each of them actually request and receive each other. Like the, in the P2B, like the torrent, there's no server. Your PC will be sober also. That's the reason piece by piece we can receive and it's very fast to download. The more the people connect it and the download, the faster, okay, due to the, the P2P. This is a P2P, the computing environment. Nowadays, the network Bandwidth is wider, 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 really, the fast enough. You may not realize whether this data, when you are using the Google Cloud or the portal, your portal cloud, you may not realize whether it's a copy synchronized with the cloud. And also you can watch the, your, the old portal from the cloud. So, using such a wide the bandwidth network, so instead of storing the data here, even instead of processing data here, we can do in the server side. However, this server side, this server is not only for me. It can be shareable. Sometimes I believe that my computer is like that, but there's another user to connect. It's like this. Why? Not always you are using the base of your storage and the port system. So it can be configurable. And uh, it can the change the configuration the based on the request. That's called cloud. Cloud is uh, cloud. <laughs> Every time it's the shape, is changing. So it's the name as cloud. So nowadays, to build your own system is a cost. It costs a lot, OK? And very hard to manage. Instead, just uh, purchase the cloud the, the computer service. Also, another benefit, I don't have to pay every the all the um, price for the service. Instead, based on usage, based on the usage.